Hello Fearless Creatives! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about 18th century footwear. Now, I recently bought this pair from American Duchess and I didn't buy a pair that exactly matches what I'm doing for the Chocolate Girl project. The shoes in that painting are a really pretty yellow color and they look like they have embroidery on top of them. And I'm just not that interested in trying to make my own custom 18th century shoes, so I'm not going to. Instead, I bought this pair from American Duchess and I bought a darker color. They do have some lighter ones that would have been probably a little bit closer to the ones in the artwork, um, but I wanted a pair that wouldn't get dirty if I wore them outside and were a color that was just going to be a little bit more versatile with more projects down the road because they are um, quite expensive. So I chose this forest green color. Um, they make a standard black as well, but I thought this color would just be a little bit different while still being kind of versatile and not as easy to get dirty. Now the thing about 18th century shoes though is they don't come with um, a way to fasten them. So they come with these two leather flaps, which I believe are called latchets, and you have to get a buckle which you install onto them to fit your foot. And so that means that you actually have to come in here and poke holes in the leather. And to be honest, I've kind of been putting this off because I'm a little worried about messing it up. Um, but let me show you the buckles that I got. I also bought these from American Duchess because I wanted to be sure that they would fit the shoes and I wouldn't have any problems there. Uh, but you can see they have like rhinestones all the way around them and I'll try and show a close-up of the little uh, floral pattern that they fall in. And what I'm going to be using today to try and poke my holes is my bone awl that I got from Burnley and Trowbridge and this is what I use to poke my eyelets into my fabric. I don't know if it's going to be sharp enough or strong enough to poke the holes in the leather. So hopefully it is, and hopefully I don't ruin my bone all in the process. So the process of installing the buckle is actually relatively simple. First, you put the shoe on your foot, then you take the buckle and slide it onto the latchet that attaches to the outer edge of your foot. And when you do this, you should be sliding it through the part of the buckle that has the shorter of the pointy edges. When you have the buckle situated in the middle of your foot, you then flip it over and mark where those pointy edges hit the latchet. Then you poke your holes about one eighth of an inch closer towards your foot than where the markings are. And I probably didn't quite do this enough. I think I could have gone a little bit closer to my foot for an even tighter fit. And one problem that I ran into was that I couldn't get my bone awl to poke a hole all the way through the outer layer of leather. It went through that kind of soft inner leather, but the outer green leather, it just would not poke through. Now 
So next I tried one of those little pointy cocktail skewer things and my thinking being that it was metal and pointy and so should be able to go through that leather. Um, that did not work. What did end up working was using the pointy tip of a steak knife. So with your first holes punched, hopefully using a far superior implement to a steak knife, you'll put the buckle back on the latchet and wiggle the pointy bits firmly down into the holes. Then put the shoe back on your foot and thread the opposite latchet through the buckle. Firmly pull the latchet away from your foot so that you get a nice snug fit and then once again measure where those pointy bits reach on the latchet. Then poke your holes in your latchet again about one eighth of an inch further in towards your foot than where your markings are. Then you're ready to fasten your first shoe. Rinse and repeat on the second side and you're good to go. Well, there you have it. Uh, Emily's tip of the day is to use a steak knife on your American Duchess shoes. That is the only thing I found that was sharp enough to actually pierce through the leather. Unless you happen to have an actual leather working awl, which maybe you do, but I didn't. So steak knife it was. But I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. My right foot took a little bit of working to get it to go in and stay secure. I started to get very frustrated for a minute and I don't know what I did to get it to work, but it eventually went in and stayed secure and didn't pop off. So, so here they are in all their fastened glory, sparkly and beautiful and not quite perfectly centered, but you know, who's gonna notice that, right? We did it. 
So I hope that you found that useful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more historical costuming videos like this one. Happy costuming, and as always, be fearless with your creativity. Bye guys.